Hi, my name is Vania Maria Pereira. I'm a second year PhD student here at the University of Florida. And today I'm going to talk about the impact of climate changes on pests and disease in cassava in African countries. Cassava is one of the major crops in the world and is mostly likely originated in Brazil, where I'm from, so I have a very close relationship with this crop. It's a major staple food in Africa, where one of six people depends on that for everyday consumption. Why cassava is such a special crop? Cassava is a perennial plant, which is grow as an annual crop, which gives to them a remarkable plasticity and adaptation to different environments. So with the climate changes, this is actually a good thing for them because of this high adaptability, they are able to adapt to the different uh, climates that's coming up. And in African countries, this will be an expansion on 17.5% on area of production. With the expansion of the plant production also comes the expansion of pests and diseases that threaten the production of cassava in African countries, as such white flies, mealybugs, cassava brown strike disease, and cassava mosaic virus. So white flies is one of the major pests in Africa countries being responsible for the dispersion of cassava brown strike disease over short distance. This disease or emergency and effects are linked to high insect populations, which in the 21st century has jeopardized food security in many countries of Africa. Due to the changes in climate, the geographic distribution of these insects and also the disease are projected to increase, where by 23rd, the white fly is expected to have an expansion into 600 million square kilometers, where the species is not present yet creating a high expansion of the vectors and consequently of the cassava brown strike disease. So how the research has been approaching this problem? So they are working on different solutions and the first of one is the control of the vectors. So a close monitoring of the insect population and also a potential use of biological control with natural enemies to focus and decrease the short distance spread of the disease. Moreover, restricting the material movement from affected areas, since cassava is a vegetatively propagated plant, this will decrease the long distance spread of the infected material. Furthermore, focusing on superior cultivar and production for breeding purpose. So the virus resistance cultivars have been recorded by classical breeding on breeding lines such in Namikonga, but also by mo molecular biotechnology approach with transgenic CBSV VCP herpin derived, which provide resistance to CBSV and cassava mosaic virus. Studies also suggest the use of genes such as CK2 as a target for RNA interference, which is on the pictures over him here, which is a technology directed to transgenesis of the virus resistance cassava as a more effective way to create resistance than breeding. These are some of the main areas that researchers have been working on, so to decrease the effects of the insect, the vector, and also the disease on the plants due to the climate change, but moreover to increase the plant yield of this major stable crop for Africa countries. Thank you.